Hello, I'm Andrew Lewis and welcome back, of course, to Transport Fever 2, where we have apparently an issue. Hello. Aha! This has happened. Okay. Why has this happened? Why are you going the wrong way? Ah, right. When we roll back the autosave from last time, it didn't fix this. That should be terminal... Wait. Two, four, six, eight. Eight should be terminal two. Right. My bad. You will have to turn around. Okay. There we go. And then you should be able to come in, drop your ore off. And then because you want to go to... Where do you want to go? Here? Okay, cool. You got your wish. I don't know why you were over here the wrong way around. And you should go into the station here. So, uh, what I want to do today was firstly have a look at our transportation figures, which is still terrible. Like, we're generally seeing about 50%. Uh, I don't know if this line could handle more without it becoming a bit of a backlog. Maybe. Maybe we could handle more. We probably need at least two more trains. Uh, I have added another train to the lumber, so I think we've got five on lumber, and we're actually just about seeing 100% there and 100% there, which is perfect. We're only just hitting that. And it's actually caused this to level up. Two. Am I going to sneeze again? It's that thing I'm just going to do at the beginning of every Transport Fever video. I don't have a fever. We've leveled up. We've maxed that out. Our production is fully at 400, and we're transporting 100%. So this is perfect. Over here, we're producing 300 of these, which is fantastic, but we haven't got anywhere to send them. We've got 164 being demanded down in Dahl Green. Uh, we could send the rest up to Kitchestone. I mean, we could actually send it up to the train station if we expanded the train station. How many people are waiting? 41? We should probably get an extra train there. Uh, yeah, they could take the rest. Well, not the rest of the 300, but most of the rest that we could transport. We could send that up via uh, via rail if we wanted. I would put a lot more strain on our rail network, but we could probably take it. Now, the one I'm actually interested in is this. Right now, these guys, 20 of them, are very old-fashioned horses. We're actually going to get rid of these today. And we are going straight up, sell them. Bam. And I think we're going to just grab you. Buy a new vehicle. Oh, I should get rid of all of these. Very old-fashioned, well out of date. And go for the DMG Canstat, which is the diesel truck I was talking about a while back. So the one we're using at the moment is 12 miles an hour, five cargo capacity, four, uh, two power, sorry. This is actually 14 power. Like that's a huge jump. Uh, an extra bit of speed and five car capacity. Also the loading speed, 1.5 times. Much better. Bit more emissions though. So I think we'll grab them and we'll probably want to get 16. And assign them to dull green tools. Right. Now the question is, do we want to run them up north? And do we want to run them up by rail? Like, that's the thing we could do. We could set up a, a train just to do go up, drop, tools off. It wouldn't need to be a fancy train. But that said, I don't know if we really need to bother with that. Like, the road is relatively clean. It's not particularly over overstuffed with people traveling. There are a few carts that might get us caught up, but we could totally come up here. The other alternative, of course, is to go down to Fanian where you need 41. Between the three of them, actually, they'd eat 100% of all of this. 300. We can get up to 300. We're not shipping the rest. Production 400, shipment 300. Why shipment 300? Oh, because you're only demanding 300. Right. You're only demanding 300 because we need to level you up. You don't be leveled up for actually shipping everything you're making. Right, so we can level this up. Um, I think... Because our road network is now better, I'm pretty tempted just to have you take some to Fanian. And we do have something in place already for that. So, uh, where is this one? To Dahl Green. Is 
It's called Dial Green Tools. So I want a new line, which will be called Road Cargo Fanian Tools. And we'll go from click on station to add, add station, boop, to boop. A bit of a long route to take. We might end up truncating that with a road. Really? Really, we're going to crash now? I'm five minutes into the episode and you want to crash. Okay. Back in a sec. Okay, there, there wasn't actually much to uh, to fix there. Uh, we'll put the line back in. And we want to wait till full. One minute. Uh, just check. Are we doing that with the other tools? We are. Okay. Uh, and then we will unleash some people onto the line. And I'm thinking we're going to need more because it's a longer distance. So we're probably going to go for 12. Yeah. I know I said more and we did 16 on the other line, but they don't need as many tools. So probably that'll do. It's more per tool that we need to move, though. Uh, and that goes to Fenian. Right. Let's have a look at these bad boys. Eh, come here. Hello. Very safe driving position. Notice how like they shift uh, with that like wheel there. That's how they turn. And there is a lever on the side, I believe, which is the is that like the clutch or something? I'm not sure what that is. It's a very strange setup. Hello? There's some bits in the back there. Right. You're off. Have fun. Love that we have this whole like setup going on where you can see the train going across the road now. We've got enough industry that we actually do bump into these trains. They're actually pretty frequent on this route, so it's not unlikely. And I think we will do this one via road for now. We might end up changing that, like actually chucking a cargo line in here and putting a, a car on, but for now we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Um, we could deal with this line. You know what? We'll do this line while we're here. This is the dark green Kitchestone Fane. You know what? We'll probably just want to do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, line. Do, 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 do. Yeah. You. Hello? No, everyone's on this one? Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to get you just to go back to depot. Okay, you can't find a path to depot. You've got 72 or 72 people. Maybe I'll just let you drop them off. They're worth really good money. Not that we need the money. Just going to say that. Also, you're coming right into here. Well, did we just pass a road that was elevated? Yeah. All right, drop the people off. Turn around. Go to depot. Done. And then we can upgrade them. Uh, it's this road here. Yeah, it looks a bit weird. I'm going to delete it. I'm actually going to delete this line because it's not really being used anyway. Okay. We're going to modify, and I think we'll change you to get rid of this old-fashioned train. Chuck on this one. Just the extra speed and the extra pulling power. I mean, maybe we don't need the extra pulling power, right? But that top speed is very nice. And the acceleration... Compartment car is better as well. Much better than the old one. Actually, you won't tell me the stats of the old one. We can't actually see it now. It won't actually let us buy the old compartment car. Uh, right, I think we're, if we're going to do this, we're going to scrap the entire train. Cancel doing that. Let's have a look. 
We could keep you. Yeah, we can upgrade you in a few years. Add, 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 add. Mediocre. Oh, these are probably way more as well. Yeah, it takes way little, too long to get up to speed. Okay, completely redoing it. I thought we were doing just a, a small shift, but no, this is going to be a complete and utter rejig. 88 capacity. We want to go speed, right? They need speed to get places. 66 capacity. That does get pretty fast. 440 meters to get to top speed on a flat. I think the 66 capacity just isn't enough, though. How long do you take? Half a kilometer. I think half a kilometer is good to get to that speed. Okay. Bye. And I'm going to send you out immediately. You. Oh, well, at this point, we know we're going to sell you, so. And then I guess we will take a loan. Because we are going to go and find you. Hello. Manage vehicle. Duplicate vehicle. Done. Oh. Fancy new cars. Oh, you don't have like a corridor in them. They're just each is like a complete, like separate compartment. That makes sense about why they're called compartments. Huh. Neat. And that should be able to have more people on the line because we're going faster and accelerating faster. Right. Where were we? Uh, we were going to put cars in coming up here with tools. So we will need a truck unload stop. And it's got to be someone that can hit most of the industry. Here we'll actually do. Like that will actually hit everything. We just need someone to ship some money to us. There we go. Uh, where can we go with this? I think it has to be here. Done. Okay. And then new line. Boop. Boop. And this is a... Uh, Road Cargo, KYD, Kitchen and Tools. Okay. Still a bit where we should put a road in across here. Just because this is kind of out of the way. Uh, I think there's enough room to fit a road across there. How much would that save us? Construction not possible. Clear the track so I can see where the crossing points are. That. There we go. I wonder if we'll see it now. Manage vehicle. There we go. Shaved a bit off that road. Hmm. Terminals. Put you on terminal two. That'll help a little bit. Uh, obviously, this is a problem because we sent everyone out all at once. So they're still taking time to separate themselves. Uh, this won't be as big a problem when they're, you know, not all clumped up together. Like, look at them right there. They've all come back after dumping all their tools. Let's get... You actually need quite a few tools up here, so it's probably going to be a lot of... Uh, diesels. You know what? If we're doing a lot of diesels, we will configure... We will add another. We'll put access in there. Just to give it a little bit more access. That should get you straight in there. Right. By vehicle. 
We'll buy 24 of you. Uh, we can't afford 24 of you. We could buy 18, maybe. Go big or go home. Buy 24. And you need to be on Kijistan Tools. And then Terminal 3. Actually, just taken out almost 10 million in loan. Whoops. So that happened. This whole structure here is now completely pointless. We will get rid of this eventually. Kind of leaving it for posterity state right now. I mean, it is costing us money in upkeep, but. Now, obviously, we're waiting for cargo right now. Uh, part of that is because it's all got dumped onto this one because we're all picking up from here and now they're starting to slowly spread it out and shipment is getting up there a lot better we're still only transporting 59% right now so so while you sort that out I think Mm, it's probably a good idea if we were to go and start up a new industry. And I'm thinking we finally do this. We've been talking about this a bit for a while. Setting up fuel is probably one of the more productive things we could do. Now, we could do this as like a train line. We'd have to put a bridge in and a bridge over here. It's very narrow, so it'd be quite easy to do that. But again, trains are very expensive to keep like running. And quite simply, we have boats available. And boats can do this really easily. So what I think is, we have boats running that across there. And we have boats running to here. Oh, I won't be able to have a boat running to there. I guess we could have a boat that runs that to like here. And then picks up fuel and goes to there and goes back in a loop. I don't really want the boats coming past here again. Just because it might make things a bit messy. Yeah. Um... We could almost have boats doing this. I think that's just too far away from the coast. And then the fuel would want to go to here. How much fuel do you use? 50, 30, okay, so 80 fuel. And you can produce right now 100. So that's most of your amount. And then you'll start demanding more, so that'll be fine. So this is gonna be a multi-step process. Uh, we can do boat to here, boat from here to here. We could use canal, like you can modify the train to make a canal. Canals are a, a bit, you know, a bit too 19th century for us. We're trying to modernize. Um, so we'll boat to here from there. It's a long way around. The other alternative is we could literally just take it via road, dump, take via road, dump. Or we could set up train. Boop, boop. It'd be the world's shortest train, which I, I kind of feel is just a bit dumb, especially when it's disconnected from our main train line. So I'm thinking boat and Part of that will be because I want to look at our boats. Eh. Bye, vehicle. We have you. You only carry people, though. What about you? 100 in two compartments. You're faster than that one. The upkeep's more. Power's higher. 10 more. Load speed's 50 times. Yes. Yes, very much yes. The Dunara Castle. So. Let's get set up. First things first. We're going to want a cargo harbour. And I want to place it probably like relatively close. I don't want to, I'm tempted by this, but then we'd have to navigate out of here around. So probably go with here. And we want to expand this because we will want to have. Actually, no, we want to expand the one over here because we'll have people dropping stuff off and people picking stuff up. And I don't want people waiting for each other at the port so we can expand the port to make that faster. So we'll start here. Actually, if you're only going to here, can we get on the other side? I wonder how close we can get. Let's, let's mess with that. We can always remove these afterwards, but if we were to run, oh, run it the other way. If we were to run a road like that, And then connect it. Yeah, there we go. You're actually connected all the way here. It's a bit far for me. 
here though, we'll go with. Right, that's where we pick up the oil. This is where we'll dump the oil. I think we'll go with here. It's probably in range. So, boop. And then, boop. Oh, it's not connecting because it's too low. Whoops. Uh, I think we'll just delete this and make it work. Boop. Yeah, you are connected. And then that is simply a service like that. There'll also be configure cargo, small cargo dock. We don't have large cargo yet. And then only a landing point for the ship. There. A second terminal. So people drop off oil at one and we pick up oil at the other. Probably don't need to be quite that fast because this is going to be a long route, but we should be fine. Now, we're actually going to want to take the oil around to here, drop it off, pick up fuel and dump the fuel here. So, we will need Cargo Harbor. And this is going to be too far from that. We're actually going to need to truck it from the harbor up to here. And then road. We'll connect them just in case we're actually in range, but I don't really think we're going to end up being in range at all. Yeah, you are out of range. So we're going to need to truck that. Uh, we'll worry about that in a moment. I'm going to just get the initial bit set up with boats. Uh, so we will want to get ourselves a shipyard. I'm actually going to put the shipyard here because I think this is a really like nice little cove where you could launch ships out of. It doesn't have to be near a road, as we've already mentioned, but... There we go. Set up a line. And it's going to be new line. Boop. Boop. And this is Jennings, so it's going to be called... Uh, transport... No, it's Sea Cargo... Jen... Jing... Jeg... Jen, honestly. And this is going to be... I think we've got to call it crude to oil. I'm going to end up calling it oil to refined oil, which will be weird. But, yeah. And then we're going to buy vehicles and we will buy probably just two of these to begin with. And we actually will go back to you and say, wait until full. They are good looking ships. Look at that. There is multiple ship in my view. There we go. That's a good looking ship. Steaming out to sea. Oh yeah. Right. Carry on as you were. Now. That's going to be relatively easy. Uh, I will say terminal. You're on terminal two. Great. Over here, we're going to want to run you from there to there to here. Now, the question is where we're going to put the port. Probably here. We'll be fine. But the port can connect to other places. Like, if we have a quick look at Mitchley, uh, where is it? Here we go. You notice that the stuff we actually want to send, the fuel is right here. That's actually in range of a lot of stuff this dock's going to be doing. Like, look at that. That's all in range. So I'm going to just keep a little bit of distance between me and the road. So if we need to, we can, like, expand that road. But I'm going to put the port straight up there. Maybe actually a little bit further out to sea. Just because, like, it does feel like there's a bit in the, to the shallows. Like, technically, we could get it uh, there. Come on. There. But it wouldn't quite serve everything. Let's 
to look at that properly. Is that really? I don't want to be on the beach, right? I know these like are small boats, but still. I'm going to put it there. And then we'll run Tiny Road like that. All right, what are you serving? You're serving pretty much all the industry. There's a few that aren't. Um, we can deal with that with trucks later on. Uh, we'll also probably want to set something up here because, quite frankly, you want the extra fuel as well, and I'm fine with that. Uh, so Cargo Harbor. And you are complaining about outside navigable walkers, which is, you know, very acceptable. I think we'll actually just crush these houses. I'm sorry, mate, but you are literally where I'd be perth- uh, Let's put it here. Yeah, put it there. And then... Like, I'm gonna have to crush someone's house, so sorry, you're the small house. But that looks so much better as a road. Eh, whatever. Goodbye. And that is getting somewhere. Again, we could expand it a little bit, but for now, that's fine. And this route is going here, to here, to here, to here, and then I guess back to here. So yeah, it's actually kind of doing a loop. So it'll be new line, bam, 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 bam. Big circle. And we're going to call this the SC. And it picks up next to Jennings. I know this is technically like it's going to two other cities, but we're going to call it SC Gen um, Oil to Fuel. Yeah, Oil to Fuel to Sail. Uh, we'll actually call it to the three locations. So Mitch. 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 Yeah, Mitch is good. I like Mitch. Uh, and then Mick. Mitt and Mick are a bit close. Hmm. What if we went with... Mick. Mitch. Millie. You know what? Mick and MN MDN, because it's... McCadden. Oh, oh, Mad. Mick and Mad. Done. I like it. That's a pretty big route, so we're going to need a few for that. Obviously, I'm just waiting for them to get the cargo over so they can start priming that, and we'll want to make sure that you're on a different terminal, which you are. And we'll speed up time just so you can get the actual oil over. You actually didn't get anything. <laughs> You probably should have got something. All right, come into dock. At least you look pretty in dock, even if you aren't actually doing anything useful here. By the time boats get there now, there should be plenty of time to get that primed. So we're going to buy vehicles and we're probably going to want to buy a few. So I'm going to say four for now. We can always change that later. And we'll put you on the line there. And we'll just make sure we color you. You're going to be salmon. And you're going to be that blue. Oh, and one thing we should do is make sure you wait until full. I'm not going to make sure you wait until full here because it's going to take a while for the fuel to be ready. So that will be a bit of a waste of time. Now, it also takes two barrels of crude to make one barrel of actual proper oil. So that'll take a while. But we should have enough after a little while of them doing this. Ah, it's the funnel that gets colored on these. Okay. There we go. 200,000 for that trip. You guys are going to be very disappointed. You're going to get to be like, hey, there's enough for half a load or something on one of us? Wow. Um, 
How much do you have ready? We could put another ship. You know what? I'm actually going to transfer one of you. I'm going to transfer you to the crude oil line. So we've got three and three. Because it is a two to one ratio, like two barrels of crude make one barrel here. You're okay until you level up. When you level up, you'll need a second load of crude coming in. And I don't know where to supply that from. Like maybe here or here. Uh, where's the next crude? Uh, over here, yeah. Can we use this in any way? We could run it down to plastic. Could run into plastic, but again, that's going to have to be... Oh, I could do that C, actually, thinking about it. We could put a C route in for that. You know what? I think we'll also change you guys out. You've been working here long enough. We'll sell you. We'll get two more of our favorites. And they can deal with that line now. I'm uh, also going to repay some of that loan. It's a pretty big loan. Alright, you can see you've just dropped it off and you're still waiting. Even though they're small docks and they're small boats, they do clip each other. Shipment zero. Why is it shipment zero? Oil to fuel. Oh! We aren't taking in any oil because we're not taking it to the fuel. We need to set that up. Whoops, forgot about that section, didn't I? Okay, we will need a truck station. And it's going to be pick up and drop off because we're obviously we're dropping off the finished fuel. And we're picking up that. So it's going to pick up and drop off on both ends. And technically, we could put it as far away as here. And it would actually service both. Which might get confusing, because the truck would be like, I literally need to pick it up and drop it here. I wonder if we could do that. I don't know if I want to break the game like that, though. I'm going to do it. I just want to see if it, what it does. This is a bad idea. What if I did new line, you to you? Literally, like... A truck going around is... I won't do this again. I just want to see if it can be done. The limit will be how fast our trucks can go around in a circle. I really wonder if this is going to work. Okay, we're going to need a road depot. And I'm going to put the road depot up here. So it feels like it's actually servicing the town area and the oil facility. And we're going to buy, for now, just four. Because if this works, this is going to be ridiculous. Yeah, there we go. We're actually starting to fill it with oil. It's recognizing that. Which is weird. I have no idea if this is going to work. Okay, let's manage the line. I'm actually going to say, wait till full on the first one. And it is a one to one ratio. So in theory, wait till full should work on both ends. Because if you drop off four, you should be picking up four. I have no idea if this is going to work. Okay, we're taking 100% of the oil there. That's perfectly taking 100% there. Nice. At least it looked like it. Right, good money. While we're waiting, I will repay some more of that loan. Okay. 
Surely you'll be leaving any minute now. Oh, wait time one minute. There we go. I want to know if this works. It's so dumb. Now, I guess the rule will be something like there's a rule about how much jurisdiction you can have and the jurisdiction will be like, all right, our jurisdiction ends at this line, our jurisdiction ends at this line. So like, OK, I guess we can't give you the stuff and you can't give us the stuff. So we have to employ a contractor like we've got union regs that say we need someone who can transport it from one side to the other. So we have like truck drivers who literally roll, run around in a circle. This is going to be so weird if it's true. OK, you're actually traveling now. Bring the oil. I want to see if this works. This is so weird. Also, that is definitely, definitely running aground there. Yeah, you're also definitely going to run aground here. Uh, I might actually just play with that a little bit and reduce the... Uh... Make it a bit deeper. We could also get rid of this bit of land, making it easy for boats to get across here rather than having to go around. And I definitely don't mind it looking artificial. Like, we're an industrial titan right now. Us messing around with little spits of land and so on is totally what we did in this sort of time. And still do. Okay, let's drop this off and see. I really want to know. Uh, we need to mess with the ship line, though to make sure you wait to pick up. And I'm going to say wait for like three minutes just to see if this works. We can change it afterwards. Have we got a boat waiting here? Where is our, where are the other two boats? Like we have more boats on this line. Oh, they're over here. Ah, they went around the long way, yeah. We do have some oil waiting. All right, bring it in. I want to see if this happens. Yeah, there we go. That's the fuel. Oh my god, is it literally... is it working? I have to manually get them to move. We are dropping it off. We might need to just get this line to just constantly move. This, this is dumb. This is so dumb. Ah, uh, right, okay, here's the issue we have. They don't have anywhere to dump off the fuel, because although they're going back to this side, that isn't the fuel drop-off point, that's the pickup point, and it has to be separate, so they'll probably need a separate platform. Would this be a longer platform or a separate platform? I actually don't know. Okay, that just means they can drop more off. That's fine. We're going to have to manage the line, and I think after you do that... If I told you... Yeah, the only way we can really do this is to say... Oh, I'm trying to think how we do this. Because everyone's going to circle around, because they're going to go from a certain direction. I think we'll just... Add station, add station. And then we'll just say, your third attempt should be to go to terminal one. Your fourth attempt should be to go to terminal four. Maybe that'll work. I don't know if they will drop off the fuel. 
they should be. Right, you have produced fuel is what you're saying here. You might not drop the fuel off though. That's the question. Yeah, you didn't take any fuel with you. That's fine. I'm still figuring this one out. Does seem quite abusive. I'm totally fine with that sort of like horrific mess that we've just made. It's hilarious. Yeah, I think we need to dump the fuel here and I think we need to be able to see that fuel being dumped. Maybe we need a separate car park, right? Or maybe it's prioritizing this, because right now it is. So like, we're taking stuff from here and dumping stuff here. Hmm. Either way, this is just hilarious. I love it. I am 100% here for this mess. So, we're actually going to delete that. And we're going to have to rebuild it, but with two car parks. truck station. Uh, we need a pickup and a drop off. Look, I need you to be separate. This is a weird situation. Like, I don't need it to be in that gap. I need you to be like just far enough apart. There's this huge gulf in the middle where it's just a mess. Maybe it's just whoever's closest, but I don't take the risk this time. I'll actually, I'll play fair, right? We could so check if that's open for exploitation again some other time. Um, that seems about right. And then, eh, and then up here, there. And we don't need the second platform on each, actually, but whatever. Uh, you, hello. Manage line one. Manage line. Nope. 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 Head station. Boop. Done. And there we go. We're seeing shipment appear. Yeah, there's our fuel. Okay, and that fuel should now get taken over here. There. Now, the only thing these need to keep up with is the production rate of you. There's literally nothing else. Uh, part of that is going to be their speed and part of that is going to be their capacity. I think right now they seem to be doing the job. It says transportation 0%, but that's because we haven't had someone come and do the last leg. Like, that's a complicated system. We do actually have a boat coming in, though. Oh, hello. Let's pay off some more. And I think since we have used some of the things from this date, we will speed up time. Go to one times. Loan completely repaid. Right, there is 11 fuel there. Not much. Oof, good money there. Third of a mil. Uh, now, how are you doing? You can only take a hundred? Oh damn. You need to be leveled up a few times. You can level up only twice, but you can level up loads. So we need to level you up and then you'll be able to accept more. Because right now it's saying, hey, we can only send a hundred. We're transporting 51%. We can maybe do more ships on that line. Uh, you're going to collect there, dumping off, collecting, dumping off. Cool.
I think we do have to buy more vehicles to do this. I know it's a really dumb line. It is incredibly short, but I think we'll need another eight. Just when we get up to max capacity, probably not right now. That's probably a little bit more than we need, but. And you are going to be the uh, road cargo and it's literally gen. Uh, I, I guess in fairness, it is oil to fuel and back. So just call it oil to fuel and port because it does take it to the port. Okay, we actually managed to take all of the oil from there, so maybe that was a few too many. We'll see. Okay, I think we will now manage that line. Change it so you're only waiting for one minute. Then you should leave and sell. You do have a ship behind you. And plenty there that needs moving. Okay, I think we'll actually get a couple new ships right now. Oh, hello. That looks like a little uh, a diesel kind of carriage system. Neat. We'll go for three. Why not? All right, feel free to go any minute. Any minute. Come on. Come on. I could force it to go. There we go. For now, I think maybe that's the best way. Keep everything flowing. Right, and then in theory, how much fuel do you need? Only 48. So you actually take some of the fuel on. There we go. Sold most of the fuel. 25 left. And start heading out. Are you coming in with a full load? Nope, you're new and you're coming in with nothing. Great. And that should be our latest setup. I will take a time to determine whether that's going to be financially viable. Uh, right now we're seeing several of our bus routes are just trash. This one in particular is losing so much money. It might partly be to the fact that like these are really old, really old vehicles. So since we've got so much money, we can totally get rid of some of these. Uh, basically... Not this line, not the residential line. In fact, you know, we'll just trash everything. We can get totally new vehicles. We even just unlocked the one that I was talking about. So manage line. Uh, hi there. Nope. Manage line. Manage vehicle. I want to talk about you. Hello. All of you. Sell. Commercial. Yes. All of you on the industrial line. Yes. All of you on the residential line. Yes. You're all terrible. And then... What is this? A diesel six capacity. Ooh, this is the new coach. Right, so this is a diesel coach as opposed to the little steam bus that we had. Takes another person, a powers a lot more. Pretty, pretty big increase in the upkeep there though. Like that goes from being less than five to being 6.5. Oof, that's rough. You know, I'm almost tempted just to go with the steam one because it's so much cheaper on the upkeep. I think we will, actually. I know it's a bit out of date, but needs must. Uh, and I'm actually going to buy them in bulk. I think we'll just buy 12. And we'll put three of you on commercial. Oh, I put way too many on commercial there. Okay, well, I can change that. Five of you on industrial. Four of you on residential. I think we'll actually move one from industrial to residential. There. Let's go look at these. 
go, my pretty buses, go! We should get in at the front there. I think that is like a like a double swing door that opens up. Which is all kinds of fancy. Uh, can we speed up time? Oh, wrong one. Oh, how are we doing with selling tools, by the way? Transport. Transport could be higher. Transport could definitely be higher. Uh, how are we doing over here to you? Oh, we could totally supply with more. Uh, we could supply you more as well. Because, honestly, all of you. Let's just buy, like, 12 more can stat. One, two, three, four. DNG tool, one, two, three, four. Fay tool, and then the rest, kid tool. Done. Yeah, look at that pile of tools there. Right, go, my pretty buses. Oh, hello, train. I do love it when that happens, like the interaction of so many transportation systems. That said, uh, the busier this road gets, might become a little bit more difficult. And there we go, buses getting in town. We should see them start splitting up. Oh, well, also people walking on the roads can get annoying. Right, got quite a few people waiting here. Hello there. Ladies, follow me in my steam-powered busmobile. That's a lot of people. Hi. Oh, we're actually getting decent people on this line. Oh, decent as in numbers, not like the quality of the people. I couldn't begin to even remotely guess what that quality is. Uh, right, in that case, let's have a quick look at this line. These say they are losing money. That's fine for now. That'll change. Uh, you two. Fanian's internal lines. Yeah, Fanian's internal lines. We can just trash probably and replace those. I'll probably do it between episodes. And you say you're losing money. That's probably because it's such a large route. It'll take a while for you to realize you can make money. Especially if the wait for fuel right now. We've only got 31 available. Yeah, we need to get that shipment up. If we can sh up the amount of shipment we get, much better. So, calling it for now. Thank you very much for watching. We have a lovely system set up that's going pretty well. I don't know what we'll do next time. Maybe let the date creep up a bit more and then see about implementing something over here for the bricks because we know we can get more bricks out of this. Just pump in more stone or something. Yeah. Until next time, I've been at Relysium. Like, subscribe, and stay shiny.